grassroots level is the foundation of the game. Um, and, it, and, and, and I say foundation, I mean it literally because you have to be, you have to have something strong to build it from. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I say, my whole career was built on grassroots. I mean, playing grassroots. All the rejection I had when I was younger, I was able to go back to grassroots, and it was always there for me. Obviously, you can, you know, more facilities, everything you need, all that stuff to go with it. But in respects of what it means to the cornerstone of football in this country as well, grassroots is where it stems from. So it's vitally important. The investment um, is continually being put into grassroots, so as we've got that part right, so as we can build from there. What I love about AFC Futures is being able to bridge, EAFC, I should say, being able to bridge the virtual world with the real world. And the thing with the real world is you want people and kids to be out there with their friends, having a good time, enjoying themselves, learning the skills, uh, and just being happy. Yeah. You know, and that is always going to be a, a benefit to your mental no. health. You know, obviously sitting in there all day and you're playing, you know what I mean? It's, it's going to have a, a something of effect on you. But if you can use that, then go outside and use the drills, use the skills, use the formations that you've learned, it's going to help with your mental health and your happiness. You look at those players and obviously they're all elite players, you know, but they've come from, they've all come from grassroots, you know, even Phil, I know that Phil Fold has been playing in around Manchester City since he was seventh, eight, you know what I mean? But like, we're talking about an exceptional player, but you know, the main thing with it is that them guys having the capability, the coaching, they've had capability and coaching from a young age of real elite um, levels. And that is why they've all gone on to be very, very good players. Now, I'm not saying you're able to get that kind of elite coaching into everything, but what you do, what you do want to do is, is that you want to get coaches in from mums, dads, uncles, yeah. brothers, and then if they're showing aptitude, then you go to the next level and then you get to the better coaches yeah. because what we've seen is that with the right coaching and with the right, the right trajectory in respect of your movement, um, you can yeah. you can be a Phil Foden, you can be Jude Bellin and Saka, these quality, quality players, if that's the road you want to take. You know, if that's the road you want to take because you want to become elite. Ben White has been magnificent, but um, I think the transformation in our team has been Declan Rice. Yeah. Um, he has to get a mention. I think that the reason why we are able to push Man City even further this season is because of him and his eight, nine out of 10 performances every ball. Mm. I think his levels, um, his consistency is something that is underrated. I think he's getting a lot of love now and it's rightly so, but like, I still think it's underrated. We're seeing it as normal. And what that man's doing at the moment for us is not normal. And fingers crossed he can do it again next season.